When it came time to decide between the show that made him famous and the network that made him famous, the choice was easy. And Alton Brown is happy to tell you exactly why. The Food Network dominates the cooking television sector, focusing on delicious recipes, charming personalities, and tastes that inspire us to create good food. One of their most popular shows was Iron Chef America, a recreation of the original Japanese cooking competition made for television in the United States. The series ran for years, with Alton Brown serving as a knowledgeable, charming host. But fans speculate that Food Network deprioritized the series toward the end of its on-air life. One fan theory on YouTube postulates that the network began honing in on fun, less serious competitions, such as guys' grocery games, and moving focus away from shows like Iron Chef. Whatever the reasoning, one thing is fact. In 2022, Alton Brown left the Food Network after two decades to headline a new Iron Chef series on Netflix. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Brown said of his departure, I don't really think of myself as having left a place as much as I simply crossed the street to join one of my first loves. When it came down to it, Brown's choice to leave his parent network for Netflix was apparently an easy one. He told Entertainment Weekly, I had 20 pretty spectacular years at Food Network, but to to be honest, if Netflix had taken a shot at Iron Chef without me, that would have broken my heart. So I had to follow that franchise, which has been such a big part of my life and a really big part of my career. And as it evolves into something new and spectacular, I just had to be a part of it. Brown went on to divulge that, as a huge Netflix fan and viewer himself, the idea of the show being in the hands of the popular streaming service only increased his certainty. It is such an incredibly vital franchise to me. I've learned through many, many years of doing hundreds of episodes of that show. To have a chance of being part of this new reimagining, which is amazingly brilliant, it's just not something that I could not do. So no, it was a very easy decision. Any show is at the mercy of its network when it comes to its creative direction. According to executive producer and director Aiton Keller, Iron Chef America needed updating, but the Food Network refused to change. If you're, you know, like a primordial creature and you do something one day and stay alive, why would you innovate? Keller told Variety, We did it for Food Network for almost 13 years, and we were constantly asking them to reinvent certain elements in the format, and to change the environment, and to improve and refresh Kitchen Stadium. The uniqueness of it was waning. We made a lot of suggestions, and they did not want to go in that direction. At Netflix, the Iron Chef team received the support they were looking for, and a network much more inclined to do what they envisioned. Netflix provided a platform in which the show could evolve and grow, a notion undeniably attractive to both the director and Brown himself. Keller said, I just felt that the best home for this was going to be Netflix, both from a creative standpoint and the way they responded in the room. Brown agreed that it was time for the show to take a new direction, telling Entertainment Weekly, One of my prerequisites for being involved in this program was that the concept would be able to evolve. There's always room for reimagining and improvement, and I think what we get with this version of Iron Chef is that number one, there are other story arcs that are taking place. One of the ways the Iron Chef team planned to implement some change in the reboot was to switch up the show's hosting style. Alton Brown wouldn't be the only one to guide the audience through the competition. A co-host capable of adding depth to the story and bringing an extra element of charisma to the screen would be ideal. That co-host became Kristen Kish, winner of Top Chef Season 10, and she brought all that and more, according to Brown. He told Entertainment Weekly, I have to say that I've always kind of worked alone. I've always been kind of a lone wolf. I met her and five minutes later we were completely a new unit. An absolute delight. I adore her. We are better together than I ever was by myself, and that takes a lot for me to say. The on-screen chemistry between Kish and Brown is evident, both on the show and in their offset interactions. In an interview with ABC News, Brown and Kish admitted they didn't have to develop anything in the way of connection. It all fell into place naturally. Yeah, you're like my best friend. Alton Brown said in an interview with Variety that perhaps the most substantial difference between the two variants of Iron Chef is not the awesome second host or the shiny new set, but the commercials. Specifically, the new Netflix version doesn't have any. The number one difference is that there's not a commercial break every four minutes, and that changes the storytelling a great deal. It allows for more nuanced storytelling, so that's a huge game changer. Brown also said that the Netflix release strategy of dropping a whole season at once allowed them to do something different with the show. People can binge the whole thing, and that allows us story arcs that are longer than just one episode. From a storytelling standpoint, it's just radically different. 
Sometimes, watching a recipe develop on our screens just isn't enough. People often crave a story. What's the reason behind making these specific dishes? What are the people like who've made them? This group of fans craving to dig a little deeper includes Alton Brown himself. And Netflix's willingness to dive in and do just that is one of the reasons the chef prefers the new iteration of Iron Chef. What we've never really had the ability to do is to really get into more personal stories of the people that are cooking the food. And that is something that, as soon as I found out was going to be a real emphasis in the show, I was extremely interested. And for the most part, this difference in the show's progression seems to be appreciated by watchers, with many reviewers reporting positively on the iteration. One review on Eater suggests the new Iron Chef chef hones in on the importance of a chef's culture as it relates to their cooking, just the sort of in-depth storytelling Brown was hoping for. When it comes to the majority of cooking shows, there is a distinct differentiation between the hosts and the judges. The judges are usually sitting, silently observing competitors, while the hosts stand and narrate for viewers. The judges then judge the food, meaning they taste the meal, while the host remains on the sidelines, sweet sense of a dozen different meals wafting under their nose, but always just out of reach like a form of torture. I've had nothing to eat at, at this job in five years. <laughs> Not in the case of the Iron Chef reboot, this new variant flips the script, allowing for hosts Kish and Brown to sit down right alongside the judges and take part in the eating process. Brown explained to Entertainment Weekly that it was decided early on that this would be the case so they could provide valuable insights the judges might not have been privy to. A set can truly make or break the entire filming experience. Though the finished recorded product may appear squeaky clean for viewers at home on their couches, there are often instances in which actors feel cramped or stifled by inadequate space or lighting during filming. Some sets are better than others, and according to Alton Brown, when it comes to the two studios used to tape the Iron Chef variations, the Netflix studio is far superior to the Food Network studio. In his exclusive interview with Entertainment Weekly, Brown described how filming Iron Chef America at Food Network included a relatively small kitchen, as well as subpar lighting. In his conversation with ABC News, he also spoke to the superiority of the Netflix setup, referring to it as bigger, better, and more technologically advanced. He insisted, the set in general has become part of the storytelling in a way that it couldn't before. Iron Chef has a home as big as it is. When faced with a potentially difficult decision, there's no better feeling than realizing you made the right one for you. And it seems that Alton Brown, who declares the Netflix version of Iron Chef his favorite take that's ever been done, is experiencing that wonderful validation. He gushed to Variety. I like the new show. It's my favorite iteration. I feel that Kristen and I make a really good team. And I think that Netflix is the perfect home to see where this show can really go over time. So yes, my vote is for more. He concludes that the greater budget, a set that gives off a feeling of grandeur worthy of Iron Chef, and the double host stylization are all factors in his preference for this newer version. Plus, a few other behind-the-scenes perks don't hurt either. And my trailer is bigger, much better than my dressing room was at Food Network. Judging by Brown's discussions with the press, it doesn't seem like he's missing his old job too much. Though Brown's break from Food Network seems to have been an amicable one by all accounts, it hasn't stopped fans from speculating there may be more to the story. On a Reddit thread titled, We Need Alton Brown Back, one fan offered up a theory that Food Network mistreated and snubbed the television star over a long period, specifically when it came to Brown's series Good Eats and Good Eats Reloaded. The Redditor wrote, The Food Network to me did Alton Brown dirty. Good Eats was one of the most popular shows, and I was very surprised at how little advertising they did for it. Also, the reloaded episodes finding their way to the cooking channel where cooking shows go to die was a mistake. <laughs> I had no idea I was in so much trouble. The angry viewer went on to dispute the widespread reports that Brown left the network peacefully to rejoin Iron Chef, claiming that Alton had made comments in the past on his YouTube channel that caused them to wonder otherwise. I think he said something along the lines of, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Whether he truly left the Food Network because of some secret, long-simmering beef with the network is a matter of conjecture. But it doesn't seem like Brown's style to stay quiet about anything, so take this theory with a grain of salt. Though hordes of Netflix watchers are happy to see Alton Brown's presence on the streaming network, many Food Network fans are still mourning his departure. 
Questions as to whether or not he will ever return to his network of origin abound, as do theories regarding the television star's future in general. Since the official word regarding Iron Chef Quest for an Iron Legend Season 2 has not yet come down from Netflix, many wonder what Brown will go on to do if the show finds itself cancelled at its new home. Brown seems to have kept the question of a potential return to Food Network open-ended in his interview with Entertainment Weekly. When asked about saying goodbye, he said, You know what? I don't think goodbye. Goodbye is really final. Perhaps au revoir or adieu for now. Things get even more mysterious when you consider one of his posts on X, formerly known as Twitter, where he cryptically announced, I have a new project that I'm massively excited about, Death on the Plate. More details coming soon. But to date, these highly anticipated details have not come, leaving fans equally perplexed and excited as to what might be in store. All we can do is watch to see what Alton Brown does next.